All right, today just kind of want to do a quick little review of a, my new setup I got. This is the it's from You Smile brand I've never bought anything from, but we are on a budget. It's a basically what they call is the X150, but it looks like an exact copy of a QAV. Um, two and a half millimeter bottom plate, one and a half millimeter top plate. 150 millimeter frame, so it's not exactly the biggest, about the size of my hand. But the reason I picked this guy out is because my last setup was a 150, it was a Ditone Blade 150. Uh, decent little frame, but definitely had went through quite a bit until I snapped off a motor mount. But definitely uh, some issues with that. Definitely, if you ever buy the Ditone Blade 150, yeah. Uh, upgrade your hardware right away anyways this guy right here has the it's the same size frame it's a 150 but instead of running these little three inch props the inside section is a little smaller so it can run some four inch props also on my old setup i was running 1306 motors and these are some 1806 i don't know if the camera can pick that up we'll try there we go. These are from iFly. Usually try to stick with some DYS motors, but we're on a budget, so these seem to work out for right now. They were also some of the only reasonably priced ones I could find that would run 4S. We're going to run this on 3S and 4S, both some Zippy Compacts. This guy is pretty chewed up. Just want to also show this that I did yesterday. Yeah. I was obviously not using that, that's no good. But we're going to record our DVR through the Yusheen VRD2s. Decent budget goggle setup and also a budget transmitter, Spectrum DXE. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty freaking fast for a little 150. Um, not bad. The torque is the main reason I wanted to go with some more motors. I was having problems catching myself out of some maneuvers with the uh, 1306 motor so these 1806 on the four inch props definitely have a little bit more torque I don't know about the top speed but torque definitely seems to catch it um, I've already wrecked the frame pretty hard obviously if you couldn't tell by that battery but not much damage I mean this thing is tough frame so I definitely am impressed with it so far so let's try to get some flight footage real quick. First we're going to do 3S and then I'll show you 4S. Quite a big difference. Alright, here it is on 3S. Uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully you can see some of this on the video. I don't know, I've never filmed like this before. It's not bad, it's kind of sluggish on 3S, but not bad. Definitely has some decent torque, but yeah, top speed is definitely lacking. Not the fastest on 3S, but still fun. You can definitely still have some fun with it. 4S is obviously where it's going to shine, but it does pretty well for what it is on 3S. Not bad. Hopefully I can see some of this on the camera, I'm not sure. Alright, let's switch over to 4S. Alright. Here we are on 4S. I'm going to bring it down. Go out in the street real quick, show you what it does. Obviously the camera can't see a whole lot probably, but 
soon I'll get a GoPro that I can move around and mount to my forehead like a dork. But definitely pretty punchy for a little 150, especially on 4S. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. I'll get some FPV footage going in a little separate video. And thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Have a great day.